Good morning beautiful souls, it's Tim Wilde here and um, as promised I'm going to be doing a few videos on spiritual practices and techniques such as chakra activations and activations of various vibrations and parameters of energy within our fields that assist with our ascension process and um, today I'd like to start off with a 12 chakra activation now as most of you will know this has kind of been the core of the work that i do and particularly in conjunction with diana cooper as well it, it the the two books that we wrote together contained a massive amount of information about the new 12 chakra system that we all have and i consider it one of the most important activities or the most important kind of self applications that we can use during our during our everyday life and um it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be overly um time consuming i tend i've been doing this particular practice since 2002 and um pretty much Almost every day, I'd be I'd be telling Porkies if I was saying, "Oh, I've done it for every single day since then." Obviously, there's been gaps, but to start off with, I made absolutely sure that my twelve chakras were fully active. Now, this was long before the blueprint downloaded into all of us in 2014. We all have this twelve chakra blueprint now. It doesn't matter what level of consciousness we are. It doesn't matter where we are on the planet, or it doesn't even matter whether we're kind of referring it to it or not. This is part of us, this is part of our four body system, part of our Adam Cadmon blueprint. Now, this can be done anywhere, at any time, either verbally or in your head. Um, all you need is your intention and your focus on this particular practice. So, I always start by just, me personally, I call in divine energies, um, I always like to start off with Archangel Metatron and just close your eyes, focus on your breathing and call Archangel Metatron to fill your four body system with ascension light and just being very focused on your breath, breathe this in through your nose and out through your mouth and allow the golden orange energy to flood through the cells of your body your mental body, your emotional body, and then fill out into your spiritual fields. So just relax as this happens. Just feel every cell of your body lighting up completely. And then bring your attention to a chakra which is a metre above the top of your head. This is your stellar gateway and it is bright gold. Ask Archangel Metatron to touch and light this up for you and just sense and feel this explosion of light a meter above the top of your head as your stellar gateway is fully activated just take a few seconds to sense and feel this and when you feel ready just flow gently to the next chakra which is the soul star which is found about a foot above the top of your head this can be seen as bright magenta or maybe even a hint of blue just relax into this and ask Archangel Mariel and Archangel Zadkiel to light this up and activate this for you so just sense and feel this chakra lighting up and becoming fully active The soul star contains all of your previous wisdom through all of your incarnations, all of your spiritual gifts or your knowledge. So just relax as this is fully activated. And then bring your attention a little bit further down to just above the top of your head. Right here is your causal chakra, which looks like your own personal moon. And just close your eyes and ask Archangel Christiel to light up and activate this for you. And as this chakra is fully lit up, you may sense unicorn energy or Archangel energy connecting to you via this. It's a very, very powerful divine feminine chakra. 
and it is very connected to the moon also. So just allow this light to flood into every cell of your being. Good. Now those are the three transcendent chakras and now we move to the physical ones, which is starting with the crown. Just focus on your crown for a second, either as we are or with your eyes closed and sense and feel and maybe even a tingling sensation on the top of your head. You may even feel the energy shifting around. Your crown is bright gold. So just as you focus on this, as you intend it to be lit up and open at a fifth dimensional frequency, ask Archangel Jophiel to light this up and fully open it for you. And just feel your crown fully open, illuminating your internal wisdom. And then move to your third eye. This is the seat of your creativity, how you project your reality into the biosphere of your life. So just focus on your third eye and see it as a beautiful, clear crystal ball. <clears throat> As you focus on this crystal ball, if you sense and see any mist or any fog or what might even look like condensation to you, just allow it to be cleared by Archangel Raphael, who oversees the development of this chakra at a fifth dimensional frequency. Just feel it lit up, feel it expanding, and feel it clear, crystal clear. and then moving smoothly to your throat chakra. Just bring your attention to your throat and see a bright, royal, radiant blue. Your throat has become incredibly powerful over the last few years, especially since the activation of the blueprint on 2014. Every word we speak affects the vibration of the reality around us, especially the vibrations of the people in our lives. So just allow Archangel Michael to light up your throat for you. And you may even want to ask him to remove any cords and any attachments that you might have been bringing through from your past lives. I mean, we've made some funny agreements in our past lives. We've said some funny things and agreed to stuff that we may not have wished to. So just allow Archangel Michael to remove this for you. And when you feel ready, Archangel Michael will stand back and bring your attention to your heart centre. Now this is the core of your ascension process. Everything starts with the heart. Just focus on your heart for a few seconds. Just bring your attention to this mighty powerful chakra and sense and feel it glowing pure radiant white. The chakra is white, reflecting the colour of the higher dimensional cosmic heart of Venus. Just breathe, breathe into it. And as you're doing so, just be aware that you are being joined by Archangel Christiel, Archangel Shamuel, and Universal Angel Mary, who govern the three levels of the heart, the higher, the lower, and the middle. And they all open intermittently depending on what lessons we're doing at the particular time. So just allow these three mighty universal angels to fully expand your heart for you. And it doesn't stop here, it goes, it expands from shoulder to shoulder once it's fully operational. So just breathe into this chakra. Perfect. And now that is fully active, just feel, just take a few moments to feel the quality of the light, the strength within the centre of your chest, bringing everything else into alignment. And move smoothly to your solar plexus, which is just below the heart. Now this is a bright golden disc, or a bright, it's just a bright golden chakra. It used to be yellow in the third dimension, but we've moved to the colour gold, representing wisdom, courage, and 
a higher perception of our environment around us. So just relaxing, allow Archangel Uriel to light up your solar plexus chakra and fully activate it. And as Archangel Uriel does this work, you might want to ask him to remove any cords and attachments or energies that don't belong to you. Our solar plexus is responsible for all of our environmental sensitivity and the pictures that we pick up from our surroundings. So just allow Uriel to completely change the vibration of your solar plexus so that you receive only love from everything and everyone around you. And just allow any cords and attachments or anything else within that area to just dissolve completely. And now, the one chakra that has been added to our physical column since the activation of the fifth dimensional chakras is the navel. It is the one physical chakra that is kind of almost snuck into the column. And uh, that is just below the sol solar plexus and just above the sacral. This is your navel. Now the navel chakra is bright orange when it is first activated and it is incredibly important for our ascension process. We last used this chakra when we were in Atlantis over 10,000 years ago and it is known or referred to as the community chakra. It's found just, just, just below the solar plexus there. Now breathe into the chakra, just sense and feel it within your body, your own physical body and just allow it to be fully lit up. And Archangel Gabriel oversees the development of this chakra. So just allow him to light this up for you and fully anchor it. And as he does so, just sense and feel your connection to everyone and everything on this planet. The plants, the animals, the birds, the insects, the people, all of your 7.4 billion brothers and sisters on this planet, we are all interconnected as one and the connection that is driving this is via the navel. This is part of the ascension process that is unifying us all on a planetary level. So just relax and breathe into this chakra. You hear me using the word breathing a lot. Breath is incredibly important with our everyday lives, with the way that we live nowadays and the pace of everything moving. Sometimes we forget to breathe and breathing is so important, breath is life. So just breathe into the chakra and feel it expanding and anchored. And then smoothly move your attention to your sacral chakra, just below the navel. Now see this as a beautiful, soft, transcendent pink. The bright orange of the previous paradigm has completely disappeared. This chakra is a rose pink reflecting the transcendent love that enters our lives at a fifth dimensional frequency. And this transcendent love affects our family relationships, our partnerships, our friendships, all of this is governed by the sacral and it has done a lot of work, especially since this ascension process has got going. So just breathe into the chakra, feel your sacral and allow Archangel Gabriel to light, activate and clear the chakra for you. It only takes a few moments to anchor and activate. And if there's anything within that chakra that you want removed, just allow this to be cleared. Allow Gabriel's diamond energy to enter the chakra and just expand it completely. And then bringing your attention to your base. Now your base, once red, is now a swirling platinum colour. So just focus on this and allow Gabriel, who also oversees the development of this chakra, to light it up and anchor it for you. 
As your base is activated at a fifth dimensional frequency, allow a higher aspect of yourself, your higher self, to move down your Antikrana bridge and anchor into your base. As it does so, you may or may not want to repeat this mantra in your head, I am my higher self. I am my higher self. I am my higher self. And just feel yourself fully present, fully here, full of light in your fifth dimensional self right now. And now moving your attention just gently down your legs to the soles of your feet. And this is the last of the ascension chakras that we're activating today. Just focus upon your earth star chakra, which looks like a, hemat it looks like a ball of hematite below the soles of your feet. And ask in your heads for Archangel Sandalphon to light up and anchor this for you. And just focus on this chakra and feel it. You may feel it buzzing in the soles of your feet as you bring your attention to it. And just allowing Archangel Sandalphon to light this up for you. Now your Earth Star is your grounding. This grounds you fully into the, into the matrix, to the energy of the planet. So just set your intention to be grounding yourself into the fifth dimensional reality which is perfect for you and allow your earth star chakra to hold you there. Once it's activated, once you're using it fully, you'll never need to ground the old fashioned way again. You'll be fully present, fully here in this dimensional space. So just bring your attention to this chakra now and allow it to anchor you permanently into the reality of your perfect choice. Wonderful. Now that is your 12 chakras fully lit up, fully activated and shining with light. Nothing is more powerful than shining your light, allowing your heart light and the light from your other chakras to touch the hearts and the bodies of the people around you, those that are asleep, those that need help. The first thing that reaches them is your vibration. So just carry that with you at all times and it is the most powerful tool for moving through this ascension process. Now, happy Sunday to you all and if in any of the comments you want me to work with anything else, I'm very open to suggestions. So, lots of love and see you soon. Bye bye.